Hello everybody, welcome into my short-term temporary aquaponic greenhouse. This is the first full day that it has been up and running. And what a tester last night was. We had winds coming through here. I swear you would think we was in hurricane territory, but we're in the middle of the flatlands. So, what is that? Tornadoes out here, I guess. But aren't they a warm weather thing? Anyway, let's take a look at the garden now that I've got some plants in it. And, uh... Y'all can see how happy I am to be up and growing again. So here we are. As I was saying, this is the first full day with this running in the morning. The drain still seems to be functioning properly. Always nice to see. And here we have a bunch of the plants from the uh, garden upstairs. Got the lavender in the no power aquaponics thing, although it's just kind of sitting in the flood and drain bed now. We've got the mint from Sane. We've got two of the peppers over in the back there. We've got a tricolor sage, which, uh, you know, has seen better days, but it's also seen worse. So we'll see what comes of that. A willow cutting that Shock's got off the one from the front yard in the bucket. Beside that, we have one of the elderberry cuttings. This is the one from the previous aquaponic system. So I suspect it'll kick right back in no time at all. We've got the green curry, a couple of strawberries, they made the trip. This one looks like it might survive. This one, I don't think so. And that Tabasco pepper in the back here. And over here, I decided to plant some of the uh, onion sets from those Egyptian walking or winter onions, depending on who you ask. And we'll just see what comes of that. I do like onion greens. These are supposed to have a good, strong onion green, so that will be entertaining. As you can see, I've started to fill up the sides around the containers with uh, pebbles and rocks from around the property. And that is simply because my sump tank cannot deal with that volume being taken out. It comes almost to the very top of the pump. I don't like that. Not enough room for error. So, every few rocks I add is a few cubic inches that uh, can stay in the sump. But it's only day one. So, I got lots of time to fiddle with this thing before spring even hits. Well, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it is an incredibly windy day out there, and I am uh, seriously thinking about taking the kites out into that backfield. So I'm going to let you guys go with this super quick update, and uh, just wanted to show you basically that I've got some plants in the aquaponic garden now, and everything's getting back to normal. So thanks for uh, tuning in today, and have yourselves a fantastic day. And for those Canucks, Happy Turkey Day! So really quickly here before I do go in, here is a shot of the One Fix natural water clarifier that I use. I often refer to this as a bio seed. What this is going to do for this new system is this is going to introduce all of those uh, natural bacteria that would just develop anyway. It's just a whole lot faster. This is completely food safe. Uh, I have absolute faith in it and I've been using this exact product for a couple of years now. So, if you're having problems with cloudy water or uh, ammonia spikes, maybe something like this might help you. Once I get a few brassicas going, <laughs> pardon the drain kicking in, but once I get a few brassicas going, we all know how fast I go through the iron. This is the uh, iron chelate that I use, 7%. It is a plant prod product, not sponsored by them or anything. It's just the one I've been using and I've had uh, great success with it. Two people have inquired, so there you go. Plant Prod, Iron Chelate, 7%. Comes with uh, mixing directions and everything on the side there, so you can figure out how many gallons you've got and figure out how much water you need to add at that point. And then when it comes to food, okay? Food, if you're not going to be making it yourself, the food makes all the difference in the world. I spend the money on Microbe Lift uh, Legacy Koi and Goldfish here. This is still left over from when I had my goldfish, obviously. But um, the health of the fish, the colors on the fish, the behaviors of the fish, it all shows to be worth it. And uh, when you read the ingredients on this, it's uh, ideal for aquaponics, really. So 
It's got all those extra little things that just help make the garden that much better. Alright, so this really is the end of the video. I hope this has been helpful, useful, educational, informative, or entertaining! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day.